Nanotechnology is the physical basis for the singularity. It lets us manufacture the faster, better, cheaper computers. It lets us build the medical nanodevices. It lets us manufacture the low-cost aerospace products, the, the ability to go into space, the ability to capture asteroids, the ability to, well, everything. I like to think of it in terms of three trends in manufacturing that we've been seeing over the past several decades. The first trend is improvement in our precision, which we've seen nowhere better exemplified than in Moore's Law. The finest feature sizes in semiconductor circuits have been getting smaller and smaller and smaller, which has been driving the second trend, which is a reduction in cost. We've been seeing the cost of manufactured products going down and down and down. And this has been driven, in the case of Moore's Law, by the ever smaller feature sizes, which has allowed more and more transistors to be crammed onto the same wafer. The final trend has been an increase in complexity, and we've seen the complexity of the computer chips increasing because we can now have literally hundreds of millions or even a billion transistors on a single die as we manufacture ever more complex products. These trends that we've seen in Moore's Law have been spreading to essentially all manufactured products and we're going to see the same kind of benefits across the entire spectrum of manufactured products in coming decades. The limits of these three trends will be the ability to inexpensively manufacture products with almost every atom in exactly the right place. So across the board, as we look at the revolutions that we expect from the singularity, we find those revolutions come back to physical products, physical structures. Nanotechnology is the manufacturing technology that underpins the revolution.